getting back, I think looking at all these types of cyber attacks, it's only necessary that we educate ourselves about all the types of cyber threats that we have. So these are the eight cyber threats that we're going to be discussing today. Firstly, we're going to start with malware. So malware is an all-encompassing term for a variety of cyber attacks, including trojans, viruses, and worms. Malware is simply defined as code with malicious intent that typically steals data or destroys something on the computer. The way malware goes about doing its damage can be helpful in categorizing what kind of malware you're dealing with. So let's discuss it. So first of all, viruses. Like their biological namesakes, viruses attach themselves to clean files and infect other clean files, and they can spread uncontrollably, damaging a system's core functionality and deleting or corrupting files. They usually appear as executable files that you might have downloaded from the internet. Then there are also Trojans. Now, this kind of malware disguises itself as legitimate software or is included in legitimate software that can be tampered with. It tends to act discreetly and creates backdoors in your security to let other malwares in. Then we have worms. Worms infect entire networks of devices, either local or across the internet, by using the network's interfaces. It uses each consecutive infected machine to infect more. And then we have botnets and such, where botnets are networks of infected computers that are made to work together under the controller of an attacker. So basically, you can encounter malware if you have some OS vulnerabilities, or if you download some illegitimate software from somewhere, or you have some other email attachment that was compromised with. Okay, so how exactly do you remove malware, or how exactly do you fight against it? Well, each form of malware has its own way of infecting and damaging computers and data. And so each one requires a different malware removal method. The best way to prevent malware is to avoid clicking on links or downloading attachments from unknown senders. And this is sometimes done by deploying a robust and updated firewall, which prevents the transfer of large data files over the network in a hope to weed out attachments that may contain malware. It's also important to make sure your computer's operating system, whether it be Windows, Mac OS, Linux, uses the most up-to-date security updates. And software programmers update programs frequently to address any holes or weak points. And it's important to install all these updates as well as to decrease your own system weaknesses.